Hello, welcome to 4 Minutes Closer to God. My name is Doug. I wanted to talk today about Nimrod. Um, he is a very influential character, but has little mention in the Bible. And so we see him in Genesis 10, uh, verse 8, Cush begat Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty hunter on the earth. Verse 9, he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, Akkad, and Kalna in the land of Shinar. Well, the Tower of Babel was built in the land of Shinar, and it's called the Tower of Babel, which is one of the cities that Nimrod founded. So he became likely the first king of the world as his influence spread across the face of the globe after the confusion of languages at the Tower of Babel. So we don't have much else in the Bible regarding Nimrod. We have from 1 Chronicles 1, Cush begat Nimrod, and then Micah 5, 6, in the land of the Assyrians, there is also the land of Nimrod. So those two are equated. And so we have in a book outside the Bible called Jasher, a lot of information about Nimrod. And that's where it starts to get interesting. So they called his name Nimrod because at the time the sons of men began to rebel against the Lord. Nimrod comes from the root Marad, which means to rebel. And so he became a tyrant in rebellion, and he became a mighty hunter before the Lord, meaning he was against God in his face. And so it's understood that he would have built a tower in order to go against God, to uh, build it up to a height where he could take God on in hand-to-hand combat, so to speak, and also some think to escape the floodwaters should they happen again. And so we have Nimrod uh, receiving the garments that God made for Adam and Eve from his father Cush, who had received them in a long train from Noah, and so we get Nimrod taking uh, the garments and putting them on and becoming strong. And the God gave him might and strength, and he became a mighty hunter in the earth. The significance of this is that after the flood, animals were released, and they took over the world, so to speak, all the land space. And so uh, they became a terror to the people, at least this is the idea. And Nimrod, uh, fearless as he was, took on the animals and became a mighty hunter, clearing out uh, the larger of the predators that people would face. And so as a mighty hunter then, he gained this reputation. And so all of the earth at the time was of one language. And so Nimrod did not follow the ways of the Lord, and because of that, um, the floods had risen, and then over all the earth, they began to rebel again. And so Nimrod was in the leadership in this rebellion against God. 